The possible timeline for receiving evacuees is expected to be around two weeks, while taking into consideration COVID-19 protocols and the length of time to travel. The update followed a meeting of the National Emergency Advisory Committee on Friday morning. Minister for Disaster Management Winston Galway says St. Vincent evacuees will have to be tested as well as receive one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine before deciding as to which country they will be evacuated to. Our approach is to ensure that we have all our required support systems in place to be activated once formal notification has been given to us. Additionally, we are carefully monitoring developments on our sister isles. We are well aware of the close ties between the islands. We know that many families and friends will want to come, come home. Our concern is that these persons may do so undetected and undocumented. Gawe says preliminary reports from the St. Vincent government is that Grenada may not receive as many as 1,600 evacuees. However, they remain open to welcoming those who choose to come. Dr. Bud Braffitt of the COVID-19 committee says the pandemic poses an increased risk. Thus, any evacuee will be quarantined and tested. Meanwhile, we have obviously have to look after their well-being wherever they're situated. So to have them tested, to obviously the one has to help with the emotional state as well because it cannot be easy leaving your home, leaving everything, all your possessions in many cases, especially those who are closest to the center of the, the volcano, I, I would say. Dr. Bradwit adds that rooms at the SGU campus would be available while Grenadians can also provide shelter at their homes for relatives. All those individuals who are involved in care of people should themselves seek to get vaccinated. That is very important. Now, when you get vaccinated, that does not mean that you're protected immediately. It's going to take uh, some three weeks or so for your antibody levels to build up to afford you some measure of protection. That's not full protection. Full protection is when you have had two shots of the vaccine. Deputy Commissioner of Police Michael Francois says the RGPF has activated its response operation plan, whereby increasing support to the Coast Guard, immigration and police on the sister isles. Because we would have adopted a two-pronged approach, as you are aware, we have persons who are coming into Grenada in response to the invitation of the Grenada government, which would be on one hand, and then we have several persons who would want to use the opportunity to engage in illegal activity. And as I say that, just this morning, in our operational response, we would have um, picked up a Vincentia National um, who are in, in collusion with the Grenadians and in several pounds of cannabis and uh, firearm and rounds of ammunition. Two centers would facilitate the evacuees from St. Vincent, while the Vincentian government via NEMO has requested a specific list of emergency supplies. National Disaster Coordinator Benedict Peters is encouraging Grenadians to lend their assistance wherever possible. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.